Good morning, Living Water. It is uh, it is really cool to be out here this morning. Um, it's kind of a chilly Saturday morning. I wanted to sit out on my deck today and uh, and just sort of share with you uh, from the devotional reading this morning. We've been going through the Book of John, and you know that. And man, I just appreciate all of us being together. This this feels like we're together when we're all reading the same thing, working in the same direction. I appreciate all the ones who have helped out with these devotions and and uh, putting these together and, and everything that's happened. Um, so we're going to continue with John chapter 20 today. It is the, the resurrection story that, uh, that actually tomorrow morning when you tune in for our Easter Sunday service, um, this is a passage of scripture I'm going to be predominantly using tomorrow morning. So I, um, you're familiar with it, uh, just like I am. Uh, but there's so many different things in here that get pointed out. It's, it's you know, early in the morning on Easter Sunday morning, which they didn't know it was Easter Sunday morning. They just knew that uh, the guy who they had been following had, who had said he was the Messiah, who had said that he was the Son of God, the Son of Man, that he had died. Um, he had been buried and that uh, this was just going to be a day to go and sort of re-embalm the body. And, uh, and it was... It was sad. It was a sad day. The disciples were gathered. The followers were gathered. They um, they were scared. Um, all of them, I say most of them, all of them had really denied Jesus. So to believe that there was going to be some sort of a miracle was just way out of the question. Uh, so much again in chapter 20 uh, that just runs through it. And, and I don't want to go too deep because tomorrow morning I get to share this again. But uh, But one thing stuck out to me this week while I was finishing up preparation for uh, for the message tomorrow um, and it's the very fact that in all four of the Gospels um, the story of the resurrection the story of that first day of the week um, it's really really cool that each one of the writers and these are eyewitness accounts or first-hand accounts and the, these things that are written in these four Gospels but especially John uh, that first morning who does Jesus appear to first he appears to women. John, uh, in his writing, chooses to only speak about Mary Magdalene. We'll talk more about her tomorrow morning, but uh, but, he, but he chooses only to include her. We know in the other Gospels that the, that the other women were there, uh, Salome and the other Mary um, who were there, but, but John particularly just sort of focuses in. And let me tell you why this is so important. Um, because if you were going to make up a story about a resurrected Savior, in the first century, in, in these early times of the church. And if you were going to make up a story, you would have never, ever, ever put a woman as a witness. Now, now hear me, this is not some male chauvinist viewpoint by any means. It's the way that it was in the first century. Women were not even allowed to testify in court. Their opinion didn't matter. Um, they weren't allowed to be witnesses to things. And yet Jesus decided before the beginning of time that's what's so cool about loving God and serving him and recognizing who he is he decided before the beginning of time that the people who would see him first were going to be these ladies there's so many stories uh, in the Bible about these particular ladies and how they served God and or served Jesus and how they they helped in the ministry and <coughs> excuse me and all the things that they did um, but in this particular story I love the fact that uh, that Jesus chose to appear, and and it's so cool when when he shows up in the garden and Mary Magdalene goes and she sees that the tomb is empty and she runs to to the disciples and says they've stolen his body, come back. The disciples see, they believe, they leave. Um, Mary hangs around, and uh, and Jesus, um, I guess, taking the form of a gardener or just being himself. I don't know if he maybe had on the first ever hoodie that uh, when he appeared to appeared to Mary Magdalene that he had his hood up that he I, I don't know but but in this story it's so cool that when she turns around and she supposes that he's the gardener says do you know where they've laid his body and uh, in a in a in a just a gentle whisper and I just have to imagine because I love to imagine while I'm reading scripture I just have to imagine that Jesus had a smile on his face when he was standing there and he was waiting to just say her name and when he did, he said, Mary, and she turned around and she realized who he was, that he really was there, that he really was who he says he was. And that is so cool. 
Um, I, I just love that. There's so many things here in John chapter 20 that you can uh, that you can read through, that you can glean from it. Um, but that was my take this week, and, and I wanted to share that with you this morning. Again, I'm going to share a whole lot more out of John 20 tomorrow. But uh, but I hope it encourages you today to uh, to recognize that Jesus cares about you. That no matter your situation, no matter what other people view of you, no matter what society says, he really will accept you right where you are, and he'll refuse to leave you there. He really did appear. He really did die. He really did rise again three days later, and he really did choose to reveal himself to people that, according to society, really weren't worth anything. I hope that today, that as you rest, as you try to figure out what to do, um, on this Saturday as it warms up throughout the day that um, that you'll just take a minute to realize that Jesus chose you that he revealed himself to you just like he did to Mary Magdalene and what does that mean you know what does that do in your life today what changed in your life because Jesus revealed himself to you think about that maybe share it with somebody today um, get a FaceTime get a video chat get a text why don't you just share with each other today what does it mean that Jesus revealed himself to you? Um, yeah, read his word. It'll be cool. And uh, I hope you'll join us tomorrow morning for Easter Sunday morning, something special. Uh, we've got a sunrise, uh, sunrise, I don't know, worship time, I guess is what we'll call it, that you can see tomorrow morning. Um, and then join us at 1030. Uh, it's going to be cool. Even though we're not gathered together in one building, we are gathered together. And uh, be the church. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, read your Bible.